10 years ago, there was a huge splash that was made in the media. A big article came out and it was called Enough is Enough. Multivitamins are not only useless, they may be harmful. And it was a study that basically said, well, you know, all these vitamins that you're taking are useless. And in some cases, they can be harmful because they can allow cancer to, to grow faster. And I sort of debunked that, you know, 10 years ago. But over the course of those 10 years, and as you mentioned in the intro here, science is always changing and revisions are made. We learn new things. And in that 10-year frame, three different randomized controlled trials have come out. And randomized controlled trials are really key because you are comparing, you know, this intervention, which in this case was a multivitamin, to a placebo. Because people taking anything are obviously going to want a positive effect, and many people do anticipate that, and they can actually change their biology. Placebo is a real thing. Mm -hmm. So three trials came out looking at the effect of multivitamins on cognition. And I'm talking the multivitamin that was used was the standard run-of-the-mill. It was Centrum Silver. Centrum. I knew it was going to be Centrum, yeah. <laughs> it was the vitamin that you would go, that's the one vitamin that's not going to have any effect. It's like that, you know. But actually, it turns out it's got over 40 essential nutrients in it, and it's also got some other non-vitamins, so things that are like polyphenols, like lutein, zeaxanthin. These are actually really important for eye health, but also the brain. Yeah. And these three randomized control trials were two years long. And what they showed was that taking a multivitamin for two years had pretty enormous effects on cognitive aging. These were in older adults. These were adults who were 65 years of age or older. That's where my parents are. And after two years of taking the multivitamin, they had improved cognition on, on a battery of different tests that equated to like reducing global cognitive aging by about two years. Hmm. And on top of that, they reduced their episodic aging by five years, almost five years. It was 4.8 years. Episodic memory is the kind of memory that's involved in remembering events, things that, that happen in your life. And so that's a big effect, five years mm -hmm. of reduced episodic brain aging, episodic memory brain aging. Mm -hmm. And so I think that anyone that's concerned about their parents, one of the easiest things that you can do in terms of improving cognition than just a multivitamin.